Shorty hit me up and she like, where you at? I just walked into the mall and I just spent the bag If I go and spend it all, then I'ma make it back Ball of shorty keep on calling, then she want me back yeah. She say that she love me, I'm like, what you saying? Shorty, I don't know you, no way is not dating Keep us still like Roku, and I best start spraying now, right here, who y'all see talking is Big Charles from L.A.M. Now, right here in this scene, he's breaking down to his gang that L.A.M. ain't no more after Lil Twine got killed. And as of right now, they don't know who did it. So, shit, they just taking by themselves, and the L's don't need nobody. Now, later on that evening, Charles had sent Kobe around the corner to the store to go get some switches for him. But little do you know, this will be the last time I'm talking to him. While Kobe was walking to the store, that nigga Nino had walked up and emptied the whole clip on that nigga. Shit was crazy. But niggas might have thought Kobe got killed for no reason. But this right here was get back for Monty, little bitch's older brother, and Nino's right hand man. The next day after the murder, Detective had hit up Big Charles and begged him into the interrogation room. But Big Charles said he ain't no shit. And even if he did know it, he wasn't telling it at all. But the detective wasn't trying to hear none of that shit. Shit, he was still trying to get answers. He was like, fuck that. But shit, Big Charles remained silent. Now, after that detective situation, that nigga Charles had told his block that they need to sit you up. And they need to get Nino out the way and keep a little profile while doing it. Cause the cops is hot and they on everybody else right now about that Monty murder. Shit was getting hectic. Charles had ended up having a meeting with Maserati T. And he gave his condolences about Monty. And he had told him that shit was not missing. He was a good kid. Just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Even though Terry was fake mad about the shit, he kinda let it slide. Cause shit, the cops was on him too. He was just trying to get his money and hustle and shit. But he did tell Charles, shit, if they trying to get Nino, he couldn't come around Riverside with that hot shit. He had to go somewhere else. And Charles completely understood it. He was like, fuck it, shit, I ain't gonna step on your toes. One of Charles' homies had caught Nino and D-Rock slipping. That nigga start emptying the Mac like crazy. Letting that bitch go, son. Shit, it was getting lit. That nigga ain't hit nothing though. Nigga shit, Nino ain't hit nothing either and D-Rock was ducking, bitch ass. But the little homie had came back to Charles and shit, Charles was furious. He was like, man, shit, you ain't hit nothing, bitch. Give me your pole. What fuck is you doing out here? Shit was crazy. All right, so now we really gotta talk about it. Cause after this recap I just went through, I just noticed that Big Charles is going through a lot of shit. And you know, I'm playing them. It's like, I get the credit, you know what I'm saying? Main character shit, you feel me? But hell yeah, learn shit, hey, time out. But listen, I ain't gonna lie, the nigga going through a lot right now. He got the cops on his ass, his little homie Kobe got killed, Lil Twine got killed. You know, as we could see, like in them in last season, Nina was cutting the fuck up. He came home, the, the nigga's a nuisance. We need to get him up out of here. If you ask me, I think Nino's gonna single-handedly take three or four more niggas out of Big Charles' group. I don't know. Let's start there. The little niggas a nuisance, like I said. But shit, y'all let y'all predictions be known down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all niggas. 9-4 shit, 12-4 shit, you hear me? 17 boy shit, you hear me? Huh, Magno this shit, you hear me? The Mel shit, you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. My uncle is a little wiggly, you hear me? Yeah.